Hello, welcome to Border Bananas. My name is Jamie. Today is a thrift shop hop collab that I am participating in, hosted by my friend Nicole Northgarden, thrifter. Um, there are several of us participating today, so stay tuned. Um, and I will have a link down in the description box to the next video to watch after my video. Hopefully that makes sense. It's gonna be a big circle. When you get back to my video, you've completed the hop and you've seen everybody's video. So it's going to be a lot of fun because there's a lot of creative thrifty ladies in this hop today. Um, so let's go thrifting. I have to say right off the bat that I cannot believe, and you're not going to be able to either, how many treasures that I found today. So many good things that could be treasured forever and ever. The first one, I these are really cool, um, like opalescent milk glass, but check this out, a Lodge cast iron Dutch oven for $19.99. Yes, please. Treasure number two, Shenango China plates. What? Treasure number three, whatever this milk glass plate is. <laughs> four of them for $4. Not too shabby. Treasure number four, a whole bunch of Old Country Roses by Royal Dalton. Holy cow, and they were priced really well too. $4 for four little plates? Well, $5, let me take that back. <laughs> I thought this basket was beautiful. Uh, I, I just really liked the shape of it. I thought it would be great in maybe on the back of someone's toilet. That'd be really cool, filled with toilet paper. Uh, but there's a lot of really beautiful, useful things at Goodwill today too, so that was exciting. This was Ironstone. I contemplated bringing home this Lazy Susan, but it was just not a good size. I need either a really small one or a really large one for my corner cabinet. So this one didn't make the cut. I loved the color of this little pottery piece and it did have a maker stamp in there. I don't know what that maker stamp is though, but I thought this was a really pretty piece. I'm not sure what you call the style of these chairs. Maybe French with the caning, I'm not sure. But that chair was $29.99 and I was so tempted to bring home this Halltree or 
coat rack, whatever, what are they called? Banana, banana stand. <laughs> Umbrella stand. <laughs> um, it was really cool, but I don't have a place for it. What in the actual heck? Look what I just found. <gasps> no way. Now, I am not decorating for Valentine's Day this year. I just, I don't want to. <laughs> but I was thinking about these guys. If I was going to decorate for Valentine's Day, it would be with probably these. I'm just not into bringing in the pink and red hearts and stuff like that. I just, I don't feel like doing that this year. So I was contemplating those. Look at all those looms. It looks like somebody donated their whole collection. Treasure number five is this huge milk glass pedestal dish. Now, just because I put it in my cart doesn't mean I brought it home with me. My rule of thumb is if I like it, it goes in my cart. Before I leave the store, I will go back in a remote corner of the store somewhere and just prioritize my purchases so that I stay in budget. If I don't do it that way and I want to go back and get something, I can almost guarantee you it will not be there when I go back. Treasure number six was this amazing painting. I wanted this so, so bad. It was $29.99 but I don't have a wall big enough for it currently. It is so beautiful though. It killed me to leave this one behind. Mm -hmm. 
and then this winter scene behind it was $14.99. I believe this to be a quilt rack shelf cubby thing. It had no price on it. I flipped it all over. It was very heavy, solid oak. It was really cool. Amazing. Bye. Pearl Elliott. Look how pretty that is. Wow. Smokes. I absolutely adore this print. Oh my goodness. Ooh, look at those. Oh, tap top curtains. Oh, it's like a sample, I think. There's two of them. Those are cool. I like. I can't find a price tag. It's like all over the floor. It's really pretty though. The sweetness. Oh, there's two of them here. $2.99. So cute. That's really cool. $2.99. Look at that decanter. $8.99. I'm going to call this cast iron teapot treasure number seven. Even though it's missing its lid, I think it is adorable and would make an amazing little planter. I thought it was so cute.
This could be a stunning on a tablescape. Two ninety nine. Look at how beautiful that is. Let's see, guys, how much they're asking for this guy. Oh, it's all chipped up. Two ninety nine. Oops. This is the first one of these I found in a while. Four ninety nine. Thank you guys so much for thrifting with me. I hope you had fun. I found some amazing things. You won't believe one of the, well, you've already seen it. So you will believe <laughs> what I found today. I am going to save my favorites for last. I'm going to show you a couple, um, well, one more utilitarian thing. I, when I can, I always look for Levi's when I go thrifting. I love my Levi's. They fit me the best. Um, but I'm kind of in between a size eight and a size 10. So sometimes they don't, if they're a little big, um, if I buy a 10 and they're a little big, I'll give them to my daughter. And if I buy an eight and a little, and they're a little small, I'll return them and go, um, you know, try again. Uh, so I just keep buying them, trying to find just the right ones. So I found these ones. These are 505 straights in size 10. They look like that. And, you know, they've got the, um, just the simple red tab Levi's pants. Love my Levi's. These ones do feel like they have a little stretch, so we'll see. I don't know. I probably could have gotten away with eights in these ones. Well, we're not, I'm not sure. But these ones were $8.99 and a green tag. Okay. Then I collect James Patterson books, um, specifically the Alex Cross series. Um, I'm trying to get them all before I start reading. There's like 28 or 29 of them. I've got my um, uh, work cut out for me. <laughs> uh, I found Cat and Mouse today. This is one I didn't have. And it's all, they're like murder mystery books. Um, so I can't wait to finally get some of these. I haven't found one in a while, so I was glad to find this. I found one more book. This is the Whole30 Cookbook. And I will, I probably won't do the Whole30 Diet, not right away anyway. I think I need to psych myself up for that <laughs> because I'm a bit of a sugar addict. <laughs> uh, but... Um, I found the cookbook and I thought this would be a good way to start learning some of the recipes, um, finding favorites so I can start incorporating those more into our diets. I do love the old school way of cooking from scratch um, and not buying like, you know, pre-made pie crusts and, 
you know, pre-made soups and stuff like that. But I use those things. So um, <laughs> I've used them more as my kids have gotten older. But um, I thought this would be so much fun to find some really great recipes. And I picked up this Lodge cast iron uh, Dutch oven. It's the 10 and a quarter on top to the eight inch on the bottom. Um, and I believe this to be a vintage one because it is smooth on the bottom. I will insert some clip, some clips here of what it looked like when I first got it, the steps I've taken it to get it to this far. And now my husband just got me some steel wool. So I've got some more work to do on this to uh, restore it even more. Uh, but I will show you how I've been doing it so far. And this was $19.99, I believe, which is not bad for a cast iron Dutch oven. I plan to use this specific piece because this is much smaller than my cast iron enamel um, Dutch oven. This, that one's probably twice the size. It's ginormous and so, it makes so much yummy soup. <laughs> I've used it so many times. Um, but yeah, I'm going to use this for my sourdough bread. Then it is in serious need of some love. Um, it is crusty and dusty and a little uh, sticky and gooey. Here, I'm going to take that off <laughs> so you can see the inside. I don't want to touch the inside. But it was $19.99 and I did bring this home. And I am going to bring this back to its prior beauty. I do believe it's an older lodge because it's smooth on the inside versus the pitted finish of the lodge cast iron that they currently make so um yeah and i'll show you what that looks like just hold on okay so this is what the current lodge pieces look like this i received for my birthday on in january this this month um and i have been seasoning it and cooking with it every single day i did forget about a grilled cheese in there one day um but it still it doesn't stick so that's nice i've been doing most of my cooking in this pan. So I cannot wait to clean this one up and get this one <laughs> uh, re-seasoned and restored. It's a tedious process, process, but I really truly enjoy bringing these back to their glory. Using just a little bit of salt and some canola oil because that's all I have. Um, I am scrubbing this with a green scrubby. I wish I had some steel wool to do this with. It'd make life a lot easier because it is taking some good elbow grease, but I'm coming along. I may have to do this a couple of times. We shall see. Then we're starting getting it to get into the really fun pieces. I found this frame. It was $4.99, which is more than I think frames should be at Goodwill, but I did pay that much for it. Uh, because I haven't found one of these in a while and I'm not loving the print inside but I do love the frame so and this is what it looks like it just looks like that isn't it beautiful it is not wood it's plastic like that old probably 1970s yeah 1976 it says right there made in the USA licensed and copyrighted in 1976 so that was a good guess um, but I will most likely uh, print off some pictures from here, uh, from online, and put my own artwork inside. I also love old architecture. <clears throat> I might I have some um, prints of those, look like book pages that I frame as well. Then I was excited to find a, another hurricane. I have an oil lamp that I love. It's just got the little handle on the side. It's simple and glass, <clears throat> just, just simple glass. Love it so much, but when I was cleaning it, I dropped the Hurricane and it smashed bits. So I finally found another one for 99 cents. So I was excited about that so I can use that in my decor now. I suppose I could use it in my decor without it, but I actually like to use them sometimes. Like during storms, I've used them and um, it's been nice when we haven't had any power. And then the piece de resistance, <laughs> the piece that I was most excited about and I can't believe I found, it was 
$4.99 and it is a jadeite, what looks to be a, it looks like a um, French onion soup bowl, but it has two spouts. It also has the lip here, so you can hold it like to catch you to, you know, hold it here. So I'm wondering if it's like a French onion soup bowl for two or something because it can be poured both ways. I don't know what this is, but it is Fire King. Um, it says so on the bottom and it was $4.99. I'll show you the Fire King symbol there. Amazing. And that is what I found at the thrift stores today. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and check the link in the description box for the next video in the hop and I'll check you later. Bye guys.